Verily International is one of the world's leading development technology and consulting service providers to the international mobility, energy and service sectors. With our extensive global footprint and branch network, we're able to support our international OEM customer base. Over the past 20 years, the company has established itself as an exemplar of leading edge technology and by harnessing our people's innovative spirit and flexibility, we've become a provider of holistic engineering support. RLE started their drive to electrification back in 1999 with Ford. Along this journey, RLE soon recognized the benefits that come with working with other technology companies in collaborative partnerships thus enhancing their own ability to deliver a quality product, particularly in this fast-moving e-mobility sector. It is clearly recognized in the automotive industry that no one company has all the answers today. We live in an ever-changing world where man strives to improve his environment by pushing back the boundaries and embracing new technology. Henry Ford was one of those pioneering men who opened up the world of transportation to the masses with his Model T and created the first automated production lines, which now are the norm in any factory around the world. The automotive industry has progressed at a rate that dear Henry could never have imagined at the time. We should remember that the electrification of vehicles is not a very new phenomenon. Electric cars enjoyed popularity between the mid-19th and early 20th centuries, when electricity was among the preferred methods for propulsion. Today, with the increased concern over the environment and the finite oil and fuel reserves, the public have renewed their interest in electric cars and renewable energy, which are perceived to be more environmentally acceptable and provide a greener alternative. RLE Nova was established with the vision of supporting new technology and innovation. The areas of focus of this business model are climate, wind energy and bionics, including innovation through affordable, lightweight construction of mobility structures. Nova Wind, our wind industry company, is manufacturing a variety of wind turbines and can draw on and benefit from decades of experience in the mobility sector. Our company's journey is part of this amazing story that involves our development since 1999 in the renaissance of the electric vehicle. Ford gave us the chance to be involved in their early electric vehicle program based around the KA platform. Together we were looking at lithium batteries, electric motors and lightweight materials for components. The structural development and testing experience gained during this program was also very important to both companies. In parallel, RLE have been involved in a number of electric vehicle and electric powertrain projects. The development of three adjustable prototype electric rolling chassis for Ford, Lincoln and Jaguar Land Rover. These chassis had lead acid batteries and were designed so that when driven they looked like the real vehicles. Next came the all-terrain racer concept, with a body that can twist through two planes enabling it to pivot and negotiate through rough terrain at high speed with electric motors at each wheel. RLE has also been instrumental in the development of the Bosch Dual E transmission. RLE had project responsibility for mechanical design of three initial concepts, delivery of six prototype transmission sets and the installation of these into vehicle prototypes. The hybrid transmission was developed to replace the clutch, starter and generator, thus reducing fuel consumption and increasing vehicle acceleration. In line with our corporate strategy and recognition of the benefits of collaborative working, a formal agreement was developed with Energetic of Australia in December 2009. This partnership has set its goals on generating electric vehicles for a broad range of mobility applications. The partnership brings together RLE's experience in vehicle development and drivetrain engineering and Energetic's experience in energy management and this has created the next step of our roadmap, EVMe. EVMe was the first vehicle developed with our new partner Energetic who specialise in design, integration of software, power electronics 
and supporting infrastructure for hybrid and electric vehicles. Energetics Innovative Intelligent Software Integration System, ISIS, has already been proven in the EV Me, a 100% electric passenger vehicle, which uses a Mazda 2 body as the base platform. The claims made by Energetic were borne out in a TV documentary for the BBC, where Charlie Borman drove the EV Me as one leg on his Around the World program called By Any Means. Well, we're doing 120 kilometers an hour now. She's running along without any problem whatsoever. I'm just absolutely so impressed by this car. Based on the success of EV Me, both parties embarked upon developing a new vehicle for the commercial fleet sector. Max EV. This high performance light commercial vehicle uses the VW Caddy Maxi as its donor platform and is designed to be the delivery vehicle of choice for fleet operators, parcel and post delivery services, and companies that need to cut down their carbon footprint to promote their green credentials. It's really smooth to drive. It's, uh, you can drive it completely on the throttle, you don't need to use the brakes if you drive it in the right way. It's got a really good pickup so you can accelerate down it as you would expect to with a, with a normal vehicle. Max EV was launched at the Senex Low Carbon Vehicle event at Millbrook. Many potential customers and industry experts who gave it a thumbs up as best in class drove the vehicle. The press and TV coverage during and following the event was more than both companies could ever have expected. Max EV's optimization and refinement is an ongoing process. Three, two, one, go! In order to demonstrate the Max EV's performance and range capability, RLE entered Max EV into the inaugural Future Car Challenge Brighton to London run. This event was established by the RAC to publicise and promote low emissions technology vehicles and to provide a platform to show it to the general public and industry. The event was well supported with 64 entries from the automotive sector, covering passenger cars, light commercial vans and an electric taxi. This is the Maxi V, powered okay. by uh, Energetic and uh, developed in cooperation with Ali International. The route covered a distance of 57.8 miles in mixed rural and high-density urban environments. The initial part of the run-up to the M25 was on open rural roads, with speeds between 30 and 60 miles an hour, as controlled by local speed limits. However, once within the M25 ring, the speed dropped dramatically. It was here the electric vehicles really came into their own. The constant stop-start nature of this traffic flow used very little energy due to the effective regenerative braking and efficient optimization of the torque demand to the electric drive motor. After our successful finish, we joined the parade of vintage cars in London's famous Regent Street. The average speed for the journey was just 13.2 miles an hour and was completed using a minimal 14 kilowatts worth of electricity. At today's wholesale prices, this represents just £1.40 to complete the journey. The final step in this brief story was for us to prove our technology and expertise by being involved in the development of a ground-up electric vehicle. Valmet Automotive of Finland requested our involvement to assist with the development of their 100% electric concept vehicle, EVA. Valmet have a strong manufacturing pedigree, which has for many years built vehicles for Porsche and Saab. The working brief was to develop a concept for the City Electric 2 plus 2 seat vehicle. RLE International had responsibility for the EVA's design, electrical integration and complete vehicle packaging. This ability was born out of previous experiences. Valmont's EVA concept was showcased at the Geneva Motor Show to great acclaim. Once again, RLE proved that being willing to work in cooperation with companies like Valmont and Energetic, RLE can bring the very best results to the marketplace far quicker and in a more efficient manner needed to keep pace in this fast-moving e-mobility industry.